You know that shitty feeling you keep trying to ignore or shove down? How's that working out for you? Do you find yourself saying things like, I don't have fucking time for this shit right now, and then you ignore it, but you only think you're ignoring it because all that's happening is that it's diffusing into that fucked up static in the back of your mind, made of the thousands of things that you've ignored or not dealt with or thought you couldn't handle. The problem with that static is that there's just too much of it, and there's nothing definitive for our attention to grab onto and say, aha, that's why I feel like shit. You know, we're made of 99% emptiness and 1% energy. Energy. Thoughts are electrical, and your wrinkly pink meat computer is a fucking battery. That shit you're ignoring is a charge, and it wants to discharge. So if you don't discharge a thought naturally by processing it, thinking about it, and releasing it through emotion or action, it's going to go subterranean into the static and will present as a general feeling of shittiness that will squirt stress hormones whenever they fucking can. Are you feeling uncomfortable either by the idea of being around certain people or people in general? If so, then maybe you've got low self-esteem static. Are you nervous? or worried or scared at something that doesn't necessarily warrant fear. Maybe you've got an ass load of traumatic static. There's all kinds of fucking static. Those shitty feelings are clues like breadcrumbs that lead into a deep dark forest. Once you start seeing those crumbs, you may just become overwhelmed by the trajectory of the trail because it appears you have a whole fucking forest of shit to deal with. And then another avoidance tactic kicks in and it adds to your I've got too much shit to do static which blends in with all your other fucking mental static. Don't worry about the fucking forest, just deal with one crumb at a time. The crumb between your feet right there, the shitty feeling right now. If you are absolutely honest with yourself, you can begin collecting those breadcrumbs. Eat them one at a time, appropriately process and digest them. Then shit them out and leave a trail of crumb shit which will compost and allow something beautiful to grow in your wake, marking your path to unfucking yourself. There are too many possibilities for anyone to name in one fucking video. I don't know your issues. You have to be the one willing to look. But for the sake of a framework, here's one generic example. It could be like this. You're nervous about going to work or going to go do something, and instead of ignoring that nervousness, you dive in. Why am I fucking nervous? Through honesty, you see that you're afraid of fucking up because maybe you feel like you're not good enough. But why? Behind that, you find a fear of getting in trouble. Why? I'm a fucking grown-ass adult. I'm good at my job, or I at least try. Why am I afraid of getting in fucking trouble? Well, maybe you grew up with an adult who didn't understand or have patience with you, and your mistakes were met with not with helpful communication, but with anger, and your ass felt like you were perpetually in trouble. Maybe you were in a reward and punishment-based system like the military, whatever. The point is, if you can peel the onion and discover the genesis of that one crumb, you can start setting your own ass free. Now that you can see it, you can start to override it. I'm a grown-ass adult, free to be mean whatever fucking way I want. I don't give a shit if somebody doesn't understand or have patience for it, and I am fucking good enough. Something like that. Now, when that fear bubbles up, you can name it and override it with how you want to feel. Your mind is a fucking vault. No one has the combination but you. Perhaps you didn't know that before and you let dumbasses make deposits. That's fine, we all do it. But now you know. Your vault is your sanctuary. Maybe it's time for some fucking spring cleaning. Just one thing at a time. One crumb, one step, one calming breath, and start overriding the code of your life, and thus unfucking it and transforming it. You've got this. Toodaloo.